when editing a sports hype reel, the music track is always extremely important. It is the foundation of all your creativity and the essence of every emotion in that video. So as my coach always says to me before I jump on the ice, don't fuck it up. You know that this right here forever, forever. Go, go. And there will be no surrender. Hey guys, I'm E, and today we're talking music. May I help you? More specifically, I'm gonna show you where I find music for all my hype reels, and then I'm gonna take you with me in the edit suite and show you how I edit my music tracks to really maximize their impact in my videos. So where can I find good music? Well, first of all, to know where to look, we need to know where a video is going to play. If it's going to play in an arena or a stadium and that's it, no social media whatsoever, then you don't need to worry about copyrights. The stadium should already have a license covering them for the use of any commercial music. But if your videos are gonna end up on social media, technically you need to use copyright free music. Because if you don't, to be honest, the only thing that's most likely gonna happen is that you won't be able to monetize your videos. So if you're just doing this for fun, not a big deal. But it also means that on any given day in the future, the rights owner of that track could decide to either block or mute your video and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. So if it's your channel, again, it's probably not a big deal. Whatever happens, happens. But if it's for a client or the team or the school that you work for, then it's a totally different story. So then the question becomes, where can you find good copyright free music? Well, I personally subscribe to three different music sites that I use all the time for different reasons. I have an Epidemic Sound subscription, an Artlist subscription, and a Melody subscription. So what I'll do is give you the main pros and cons for each one, and then you can decide which music site fits your needs better. Full disclosure, I am an ambassador for both Artlist and Melody. So I'm gonna put links in the description below for those of you who would like to sign up and get a small discount in the process. It's time for pros and cons, here we go. Pros and cons, pros and cons and pros. Let's start with the side that I believe has the best music library of all three, Epidemic Sound. So yeah, first pro is the quality of the music. I believe they have the best of all three, but obviously it's very subjective. Epidemic Sound also has a much, much bigger library than any other music site. They have over 30,000 music tracks, while the other two sites only have around 9,000 each. And the last big positive with Epidemic Sound are the stems. The stems are basically the deconstructed version of a full mix. Typically, there's a separate track for the drums, the bass, the instruments, the melody, or in this case, the vocals. Man, I went from a bag to a bag to a bag. I remember me and mama used to ride the cab. Pull up by the lot, no more lease, we pay cash. Show up to a crib, had the keys to a jack. When we get to the editing part of this video, I'll go in greater details about the stems and you'll get to truly appreciate how valuable they are. But for now, let's move on to the cons. The only big con with Epidemic Sound, in my opinion, is their pricing and licensing. Because their personal plan, which is reasonably priced, will only cover your personal social media accounts like YouTube, Facebook, etc. But you'll need a commercial plan if you want to use their music for your clients, which is, as you can see, much more expensive. Artlist, on the other hand, is sort of the opposite. It's got a smaller library, no stems, but for $200 a year or $16 a month, you can basically use their music anywhere and everywhere. You can even use it after you unsubscribe from the platform. So in theory, you could subscribe for only one month, then download 9,000 songs and use them for the rest of your life. In theory. And then there's Melody which is, in my opinion, the best option for a small creator on a budget. Their platform is very similar to Artlist, but they have stems. And again, stick around because later I'll explain why this is so important. 
Their licensing structure is similar to Epidemic Sound, and their business plan, which allows you to use their music for your clients' videos, is extremely expensive, so I wouldn't recommend it unless you've got a lot of clients. But their personal plan, if you commit to an annual subscription, is by far the cheapest option available on the market. Because what I should have mentioned from the start is that they are an Australian company, and the prices that you see on your screen right now are in Australian dollars. So in American dollars, an annual subscription will cost you 125 bucks in total, or 1050 a month. So to conclude this uh, where to get your music from part of the video, I would say that if you intend to do a lot of videos for clients, go with Artlist, simply because of their licensing. But if you only need music for your own content on social media, then if you can afford it, go with Epidemic Sound, but if you can't, go with Melody. Again, let me remind you that there are links in the description of this video that allow you to subscribe to both Artlist and Melody and get a small discount in the process. All right, so now that we're in the edit suite, let's go through the most common mistakes that people do when picking and editing music for a hype reel. The most common one is to always use the same type of music. We do it because we tend to use the music we like listening to, and it also becomes somewhat of a comfort zone for our editing style. Like, I know I use hip hop a lot more than anything else in my videos, but I do think it's important that I go outside of my comfort zone with different music genres so that first, I don't get complacent in my editing style, and secondly, prove to my clients that I'm not a one-trick pony. And most importantly, the music should be a big part of the story your video is telling. So the story should dictate your musical choice and not your personal taste. For example, if the purpose of my hype reel is to highlight the action and the fast pace of the sport, I'll probably go with something like this. Or even something like that. But if I'm trying to put more focus on hard work and dedication to the craft, then I might go with something a little bit more like this. So now let's just assume you've got the right track for the right video. A common mistake that people make when editing hype reels is that they just edit vision over music and don't use any other source of audio. Look, this is fine if your video is only 30 or 40 seconds long, but anything longer than that, you need a bit more variety in your audio. The best way to do that is to either use sounds from the game, or you can use sound bites from a coach, a player, or a commentator. But here's the thing. When you start mixing music and sound effects and voices, it can get messy real quick, especially when there's lyrics in your music track. Because having someone talking over someone singing makes it very hard to understand either of them. You can always bring the volume of your music track way down, but that will completely kill the energy that the track was bringing to the video in the first place. So what do I do instead? I use stems. See, I told you I'd get there. And thanks for your patience, by the way. Stems allow sound bites from the game and commentators to be clearly audible without having to lower the music volume by too much. Now, I'm gonna show you an example of that, but to keep it simple, I'm only gonna use two stems, the full mix version of a track which includes lyrics and the instrumental version of that same track. This is my country, my damn country, give me my country, you can keep the rest. This is my country, my damn country, and it don't mean a thing if it don't pass the test. If you ain't never cheated or been cheated on, then take off your boots, you rhinestone Turn her down the way! Oh, that was a down! You sure did! Oh, with the shimmy! Oh. Spin it up oh. and in! Good look. Birch has not had 
love the touch. It's the size of the fight in the dog. If you can't sing along, be tearing my bear. Then don't forget your coat and get the fuck out of here. If you still think this is not necessary, here's what it would have sounded like if I had just kept the full mix going the whole time. Turn it down. You see? Not great. But anyway, once you get comfortable with this technique, you can push it even further by using a greater variety of stems, which will allow you to control the intensity of your music track and ultimately help you tell a better story. How do we win tonight? We go hard, we push them around, we make them hurt, we short shift the fuck out of it, we're on, we're off, we're on, we're off, we're on, we're off. We want to vibe, we want to end, we want to pump up the entire time. You've got this. One, two, three. Yes. Kid for my win, I need my hands. This life is real, and they pretend. Game of the fans, I get it in, I get it in, I get it in. Guys, you got to put the foot down. All right, you got to want it and you got to work hard. This is what is supposed to happen all night. You guys understand? Defensively, we get it out. Offensively, get it in. Shots, shots, shots. Let's fucking go. Let's play our fucking structure and play like a fucking team, huh? One, two, three. Yes! All I know, I go. Ten toes, never fall. Bay and roll, on the go. I swore, I swore, I swore. We need a goal. We, this last period, we need a goal. We're losing. It's a 3 2 game, okay? Let's go, guys, come on. So there you have it. I hope this video answers most of your questions around music and hype reels. Uh, if it doesn't or if you're unsure about anything, please let me know by asking me any question you want in the comments below. I'll get back to you ASAP. I'm usually pretty good with these things. And by the way, I've got a few more hype reel related tutorials coming out soon. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for watching. My name is E and I hope I earned the privilege of your time.